A full-scale invasion of South Korea has just begun from North Korean forces landing now in and around the areas of Seoul, Chuncheon, and Sokcho, and also a naval force about to land from the uh, west here, consisting of Chinese and North Korean forces. Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back. War Game Red Dragon is the name of the game as we play through the second Korean War campaign, and boy, is this war heating up quick. Here in 1992, China, the Soviet Union, and North Korea are going to try to wipe South Korea off the map and trying to make uh, this a more communist stable region for them as their uh, powers are starting to dwindle in the Soviet Union. Uh, the Warsaw Pact, of course, uh, disbanded, but in this alternative history, the Soviet Union lasted until 1992. Soviet hardliners are now in charge and are asking for advanced equipment to be delivered to North Korea and China in order to flood into South Korea. You can see the North Korean forces here indicated in red with their aircraft and tanks pushing in across three fronts on the peninsula, plus a naval landing about to happen at Seoul, and we've been asked to uh, retreat if necessary by the Allied forces all the way to the very bottom of South Korea. We have Japanese forces here, South Korean forces, American forces, and in route we seem to have French forces, uh, um, uh, British forces, and I believe German forces too, sending everything they got, and man, are we, we're going to need everything we can get in order to fight here today. We do have the ability to call out some fighters and such uh, and, and drop them over here if we need to, um, perhaps, but it looks like these are F-14s and F-18s uh, to defend the carrier here that has been ambushed by uh, Soviet forces here. We had a carrier just off the coast of South Korea. It was hit by a torpedo and was not able to escape, and now we've got three battles to fight here today. Let's go ahead and go back to the main map here. And our first battle will here be at uh, Sok Cho. And as you can see on the left side, commanding South Korean forces, we have the uh, uh, the 13th Infantry Regiment. And then on the right side, we, we're going to be fighting tanks, infantry, and artillery. We'll see how long we can last here today against the uh, North Korean forces as we have our first initial battle against the North Korean Army. Previously, we destroyed some North Korean ships that were mixed in with the Soviets. But we'll have to see what we can do here today. All right, welcome to uh, War Game Red Dragon. Uh, if you haven't seen the game before, again, very good Cold War game. And uh, we're going to uh, be probably zoomed out for most of the time as this game is fought on kind of a more, uh, you know, larger larger scale. But we're going to try to hold these two sectors as they'll give us the most points and reinforcements and seem to be the most logical to defend as we've got some large mountains here uh, to try to fire down on the enemy, especially at their tanks and such. Let's see what we have for anti-tank uh, weaponry. It looks like we have 106 millimeter. Uh, boy, that's not really good. 106 millimeter recoil recoilless rifle mounted on M113s, which are American transports. Uh, but we do have plenty of uh, infantry, which uh, do have law rocket launchers that can do something against the enemy. A little something against the enemy. We're going to get our forces ready then to uh, push right up immediately into the forest up here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go up here. We don't have any air support, and neither does the enemy. Uh, but we need to get that situated as soon as possible in order to hold them back here. We're going to go ahead and put some recon around. I don't really have a lot of confidence in these uh, recon forces. We're really we're really in a bad 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 situation. So we'll be taking a lot of uh, a lot of losses, but as indicated earlier by command, um, we are to take losses and buy time and uh, that's what our goal here is today. We have some villages down there that we can defend as well. Let's send some South Korean soldiers down there. These are the Song Chu Su 85. So they're armed with weaponry uh, that were modernized them in 1985. This is this is 1992. So we're going to have a, a very difficult time, I think, here defending. But we should have confidence in our forces that they will uh, stand to the last man and knock down anybody who comes into South Korean territory. Let's go ahead and get some more recon up. I think. We probably should defend over here too, but we're running low on soldiers. We just need to lock down villages and make sure the enemy doesn't push through. Or at least uh, do so easily, which they uh, will with tanks. We actually have our uh, cells some uh, engineering forces too. So we're just getting everything set up for our defense. Mortar uh, battery here that we can call out. Possibly, uh, probably, probably good to put them up, up here somewhere. We'll try to keep them defended and supplied. We do have some logistics. Uh, uh, K511 cargo truck, and that should be good for that. Recon, we'll need a little bit more recon just to keep an eye on the North Korean forces as they sneak around. And we should be okay to defend. I'm going to try to send most of these boys to the forest or to the um, up here to the uh, mountain. We'll see what, what we can do. All right, Song Cho Su 85s are out. We have some more engineers. 
these guys uh, are basically flamethrowers, so they can hold the enemy back and possibly destroy vehicles. We'll see what happens. And we'll put a couple of uh, Vulcan cannons up there. All right, let the battle for South Korea begin. Here we go. We're going to put all of our forces down here. The, uh, the KAV-25 does have uh, the ability to fight rather well. So we'll see what, what it can do. It's going to be good to uh, keep around some of these residential areas. All right, one, one of those are, are there, okay. All right, here comes the Chinese-made uh, tanks now, Type 59s. Occupied by uh, North Koreans, Type 59 tanks are everywhere. All right, my onload hotkey is you, so let's get you guys into position. All right, go boys, come on. we got to get into those buildings. Okay, a lot of tanks are coming our way. We need to get our forces into ambush positions. Okay, we already have an enemy command unit over here. The uh, North Koreans are trying to capture territory as quickly as possible. And we do have our uh, transporter over here. There we go. Okay. Mortars are going to occupy that position. Here we have a... Uh, North Korean troop transports are coming up now. And they're going to try to uh, flank us. Possibly up here. Or we're going to flank them instead. Of course, showing our BMP-1s. We have our recoilless rifles standing by. Okay, we have our first engagement. Yes, enemy command unit eliminated. Perfect. All right, let's get these forces in defense. Okay, we'll try to get... Uh, some of these infantry fighting vehicles have some very nice 25mm uh, weapons on them. And that's going to be extremely valuable. Almost more so than the infantry. Okay, we're now fighting it out with North Korean forces. Bong Chosu getting immediately wiped out. Wow, just getting blasted as they came over the top. We did lose a uh, KAV-25. Beautiful. Enemy being flanked there nicely. Okay, let's get this command unit up. Type 59 tanks are about ready to steamroll out of the forest. We have uh, both of our forces there ready to rock. Anti-tank units there. Looks like uh, North Korean artillery hitting our positions. North Koreans love that. Counter artillery coming in. Alright, we need to buy time for about 17 minutes here. Enemy tanks are uh, somewhat, somewhat retreating. Beautiful defensive line there. North Korean artillery is going to wipe us out of the forest. Look at all those units. Oh my god, wow. North Korean uh, tanks and artillery. Incredible tactics. Just bulldozing everything in that forest. Didn't stand a chance. Look at these Vulcans up here. That, that can fire at a lot of those weapons. We're still doing a great job here holding back enemy tanks. Enemy tanks are trying to advance, but are being hit by 25 millimeters. There we go. North Korean tanks coming up the hill. Coilless rifle in position. Look at that insanity. Let's fire on those tanks. Looks like a North Korean uh, co firing computer needs to be reset, meaning the abacus tipped off of the uh, center console. Wow, look at that. Quickly wiping out those uh, small vehicles there. Let's flank these guys again. Enemy tanks are caught out in the open. And they've got a lot of forces coming this way. No! Retreat, boys. 
There's a hell of a lot of forces there. Alright, we're here to buy time. We're not going to win this one for sure. Hit that command unit. All those enemy tanks. Look at them. There was an enemy command vehicle over here somewhere. We need to find it. There it is. Beautiful. Okay, the village defenses are going rather nicely. We're going to continue to hit enemy tanks as they pass through. Look at that. Wow, enemy tanks getting demolished now. They're still going to break through over here, it seems. We don't really have much to stop them. We need to defend that defensive sector. Enemy tanks taking heavy hits. And they're now getting ready to smoke out the village in order to attack. Enemy team holds 90% of the points to win here. This is set in their favor. They have the advantage. And it looks like we have suffered a total defeat here, which will uh, force us to uh, retreat into uh, Wanju. And uh, this is exactly what we had expected to be pushed back. Now the battle for Seoul begins. Oh my god. That was, that was impressive. Now, uh, again, enemy has overwhelming forces. We are not meant to win these. We are meant to be pushed back and buy time. That's the goal here. Um, oh, actually, we have some naval forces here that we can call upon. Uh, looks like we actually have some Swedish STRB-90Hs. Congratulations, Swedes. You are here with, uh, with uh, I think these fire Hellfire missiles. Yes, so they're very good at destroying tanks and such. We can deploy them around Naval Sector Charlie. Though I don't think we have a naval uh, command unit at all. Uh, oh, but the Dong He, which would be a great weapon against the enemy. All right, let's go ahead and launch yet another battle. We have a lot of enemy aircraft uh, above us. And it looks like they broke through on the right flank. But damn it, we gave them a good fight and destroyed a lot of tanks on that right side. Got to be proud about that. All right, well, let's go ahead and control the naval sectors then. It's going to be an immediate, uh, immediate important thing. Uh, area to hold. We have our forward operating base too for supply, which means we can basically dump it in the city and hold out for a very long time with armored uh, with uh, armed troops against armor, which will be perfect. We still have our, uh, oh, very nice. We have uh, the uh, KAFV 4050, which has a uh, grenade launcher on it. That's good. Um, I don't think we'll be able to ho really hold areas like Delta or Echo or Foxtrot for too long. But we'll try to put troops in there and try to delay the enemy as long as possible. They'll likely overwhelm us or bomb us to death with the uh, amount of aircraft that they have. But it's worth a try to put multiple troops in some of these buildings. And artillery is the worst thing that we face. You see how effective the North Koreans are with their artillery. It just immediately zeroes in and deletes units from the, uh, from the ground. We need to get some recon up as well. Try to get these guys to flank around and watch what's coming up the road. And we can even get units into the forest down here, into the village. Okay, that's going to delay them there. We've got our forces deployed in this section. The enemy may get really close to us. Look at how, how limited we are on our, our forces. It's really incredible uh, how limited we are since we were caught off guard. They really have the advantage here, don't they? Okay, I think the next thing for us to do that's going to be important is for recon vehicles such as the Fiat 6616, which is extremely devastating against enemy units. I've seen it in action many times, and man, two of these things working together to uh, recon and destroy is pretty impressive. We do have actually uh, naval units at our disposal too, uh, including, uh, oh, hey, Byung 90s, which can make a naval landing. These guys are actually rather good. Uh, unfortunately, we'll only be able to drop them here in LCMs. But we might be able to uh, send them up a river 
and drop them near Echo. Unfortunately, we don't have any naval. Yeah, we don't have any naval zones that we control water-wise. Uh, we can get up the river though with these naval units, and we can even send the STR B90 up there. Aircraft, we just have a simple fighter, and uh, we will need some anti-aircraft as well. Under support, doesn't look like we have anything aside from those Stinger missiles. So we'll have to give a group some Stingers. Perhaps the recon group here. All right, let's see how we do. Let's get ready to launch the battle. My uh, goal here is to, again, to try to delay the enemy, not to push them out of uh, South Korea or anything. That's not something we can do. It's just not going to happen. All right, let's get the LCMs to drop off troops. We want to block bridges here. Maybe we can drop these troops here to uh, stop the uh, North Koreans from at least going this direction here at the uh, intersection between the canals. Stingers are standing by. Okay, good. Let's try to get most of our forces inside villages. And we'll get these guys to flank to go up here to recon. Okay, looking good. All North Korean forces will be coming out of here at Ongjin, and it looks like we might already have our first uh, units moving in. We're not going to be able to get to that village in time on the other side, I think. Let's try to pop in there. Looks like they might be trying to go this direction. We're getting good amounts of reinforcements. Let's go ahead and call in uh, STRBs now. These can fire Hellfire missiles, and if we put them over here, they'll be able to engage a lot of those enemy units. So the Swedes are going to sneak in now. I don't know what the Swedes are doing in uh, South Korea, but they're, I'll tell you what they're doing. They're kicking butt. That's what they're doing. Okay, we've got ourselves uh, multiple artillery units here that we can send forward, but I think I'm going to opt for more infantry at this moment, especially the uh, naval anti-tank infantry. And I want them to try to stop as many North Korean units as possible. Especially that. That's not good. Right, that's what the STRBs are for. Ooh, we can actually destroy an enemy command unit here and cut them off from getting reinforcements. Excellent. Do they speak Swedish? Oh yeah, they do. Yo, yo. Dude. Don't tell the Svenska. All right, let's have the Fiat's move up. We need to keep an eye on the uh, North Koreans. And if we can destroy that command unit there, that'll cut off their reinforcements for some time. BTR-80As are approaching now. That's a four-wheeled uh, or six-wheeled or eight-wheeled. I, I can't, can't remember now. I think it's six-wheeled vehicle. Well, whatever it is, it just got something just got blown up on the road. Perhaps it was artillery from earlier. All right, the Swedes are going to first target the uh, YW-701, which is a, uh, I believe that's a Chinese command vehicle, but I didn't see any Chinese units here. Look at all their forces bunched up like that. We need artillery. We should get artillery right away. All right, we're going to get artillery immediately firing on those guys as we delay, delay, delay. And it looks like our forces here have landed. And we're going to drop them over here now. Okay, what's the deal? We're going to split these guys. I want to try to get these two units together. And re regroup. Trouble is they have to be out of the building in order to regroup sometimes. There we go. Okay, we're blocking the road now. And the Swedes firing their stuff. Nice! Destroying a hell of a lot of units. Spear of uh, Odin coming in. Beautiful. Cutting off a lot of units. Nice job, Swedes. Bro, bro, bro. Look at that. They're engulfing us in smoke and fire. That's called the Amsterdam technique. Very effective. All right, we still have grenade launchers remaining. Well, let's return back and get supply. Unfortunately, we didn't put a fob anywhere near the uh, 
anywhere near the ocean. Okay, what's the fault? Let's head back. Swede's doing a fantastic job blowing up a hell of a lot of units with that. Incredible. Maybe we could have a Dong Hay come up, continue to fire at 76 millimeters. Looks like they're all trying to move through the forest, where I thought they would. We're going to move some of our forces to the flanks, wait until they come in, and then we're going to try to come up behind them. Artillery is in place now. All right, we now have artillery at our disposal. As soon as we see the uh, North Koreans again, we'll call that up. I think we want some more 20 millimeters to slow them down when the time comes. Let's get those recoilless rifles deployed. They're going to drop them off. We're going to get more elite fighters to uh, hold this village and lock it down. Enemy seems to be attempting to flank. Beautiful. Grenade launchers going out. Perfect opportunity to flank those BTR. BTR 80s. Beautiful. Excellent. Enemy aircraft coming in for what may have been a bombing run. But I don't see any I don't see any bombs that were dropping. Maybe they did hit something. All right, let's flank those SU-100s. All right, they're falling right into the kill zone. All right, artillery time. Aircraft. Okay, those are bombs. Napalm, to be exact. Go, boys. Go, go, go. Fiat got knocked out. Not not before it took out several vehicles. Very much like the Fiat. Okay, we're going to call down that way. Okay, more of our naval reinforcements are arriving. Beautiful Fiat hitting them again. Let's call out more of those things. Look at the Fiat just devastate infantry transports, man. 20mm just knocking them out. Not before he got knocked out himself a little bit. Unfortunate. Lucky strike from that uh, one uh, unit there. Hitting them on the nose. All right, we're going to call these up a desperate block now at that position. Enemies really trying to smoke us out on the hill, but they're not breaking through. All right, let's get these troops to flank again. Beautiful flanking going on here at the top of the hill. They're going to hit the forces in the in the defense of the village, and then we'll hit them with the elite units on the side. Not to mention they're driving directly into artillery. Let's call out some more artillery. We've got plenty of points to spend. I want to try to get those Swedish units rearmed, too. Uh, invalid field type. Uh... It's interesting. I guess we weren't able to call them out at the marsh. Alright, we still have law launchers ready here. Danger close on that artillery. I don't even think we're firing over there. We're firing here. Ooh, beautiful artillery hitting a unit. And the, uh, looks like the enemy's trying to push down here where we thought they would earlier. Call out some uh, transport or uh, some anti. Uh okay, we need to stop any units heading down this way.
We're going to try to drop uh, naval reinforcements there to get those Swedish units up. Beautiful. Our military doing a great job at blocking the crossroads. Susung Poe's do have ATGMs on board, so let's go ahead and hide our uh, Fiats. We'll keep an eye on them, and we'll destroy them. They are able to cross amphibiously, but it doesn't look like they're interested in doing that. Alright, let's hit those forces from behind. Lots of light units coming in. Need more artillery. Pin all those vehicles down. Alright, we're getting these guys from behind now. Clean house, baby. Okay, we need to move this uh, unit up here. Beautiful, the Fiat's kicking ass again. Look at that. Cargo trucks. We need to resupply those Swedish vehicles right away. Alright, it's now time to hit the flanks of those old SU-100s, which are tank destroyers. And some unidentified tanks are pushing up. Those are SU-100s as well. Bong Chosu, North Korean infantry in the forests. The roadblock's doing good. The Fiat's only problem is it's running out of ammo. Let's see if we can do air runs on some of these units. We're going to try to hit them with our guns. Alright, we're doing some cannon runs now with our aircraft. North Korean fighters inbound. MiGs. Let's get them, boys. Don't let them behind you. Unacceptable. Two kills due to incompetent break-off. Come on, guys. We can do way better than that. And Ashoka right over the top. Alright, unac unacceptable on two of those losses. Naval forces broke through here, though. We cut off the SU-100s. This is it for their reinforcements. Well, why'd they go into the transport? Go into the village. Fiat's down to just 70-something rounds. Great roadblock there. Unfortunately, those one, the uh, 106s are taking hits. We cleaned out town up here. Shoko's remain. Never mind. Bong Chosu and Shoko's. All right, let's push through all the way to the bottom. We're now fighting an enemy fighters as they come through enemy artillery there. Okay, we're, we're literally out of ammunition. We killed too many vehicles. We're out of ammo. Right, we're going to use the smoke for cover and get out of here. Now let's go down there with the recon unit and hit that artillery. Still blocking the road here. More enemy units being destroyed by either their own artillery or ours. Wow, look at that. 
All right, we've uh, taken a hell of a lot of losses, but we've done a great job in slowing them down or stopping them. Guess I can't get any closer to that unit. Okay, let's send up the... Uh, look at that, they're actually trying to smoke out our ship now. Ridiculous. Okay, well, our roadblocks worked here effectively. Uh, we're down to 389 points, but the North Koreans just having a bad day, man. Just a horrible day. We got naval forces chewing away at some of their... F Look at that, wow. Actually, what can the Zippo do? Oh, it's actually it actually has a 40 millimeter on it. Let's go ahead and put that down there on the canal. Well, I would have used that if I would have known that. I thought it was just a flamethrower, to be honest. Alright, we're going to try to eliminate North Korean artillery. We took a hell of a lot of losses, but not like the North Koreans. A multitude of SU-100s and uh, our aircraft derped out a bit, but other than that, everything seems to be going rather well. Wong Chosu are trying to push through. Biggest problem, some of our uh, vehicles are out of ammunition, but uh, they have grenade launchers still that they can fire. Look at us just chew up these forces here. Look at them run like rats. Scurrying like cockroaches. Alright, well he has two, so let's go ahead and call that up. Actually, uh, we do have the LCUs that I didn't see before. We'll call those up then. We've got about three minutes left on the battle. And we're devastating the North Koreans now. Rocking a hard place is what they're stuck between. We gotta get some ammunition up here for some of our forces. Artillery did a great job in pushing them back. Don't really want to use any of it at the moment. A lot of it's close range now. Let's get the 106 up here. Enemy artillery is firing at our ships. Hell of a lot of enemy artillery there. Yeah, let's make sure we kill these units. Swedes just need to finish off the transports. Beautiful, look at that, just chewing away. Wonderful. Alright, the LCU should come up here and the STRB-90 is coming up here too. Beautiful. We've got so many, so many good forces here now. The enemy also has uh, good points for uh, destruction. There's that 120. Let's go ahead and hit that. 120 millimeter artillery cannon right there. Uh, mortar. Does have a uh, defensive weapon on it. Alright, hit him with the law, boys. Lay down the law. Excellent work. All right, we're going to block the road there. We're going to get the STRB-90s up here. Enemy did manage to capture Foxtrot, but none of their main objectives of cutting us off or destroying us. We actually uh, have the ability to call out some more units here, so let's do that. I'm going to try to get these before the end of the game, so that way we can have these for our next start. And the KF... Did these arrive? I don't I don't know if I ever called these out or if they got destroyed right away. Just about a million points in transport sitting back there. Beautiful. Okay, well the enemy's reinforcements across the bridge are cut off. BTRs are basically cut off. Uh, we've, we've got supply problems across the board, but after a sustained attack like that, we're gonna we're having ourselves a good day. Let's go ahead and move fast here. Very good. They never got anywhere close to the city. Enemy troops are trying to push through here. Our navy took some losses. Ok, 
Okay, try to, try to bring up anti-tank now. Oh, that should flank them. Alright, it's time for us to sneak back into the forest here and just wait a couple of seconds. No more losses for the enemy. Monitor Zippos. We'll remember that for next time. We can definitely block that area. Just a couple seconds left. Anti-tank firing like a beast. Beautiful. Alright, another uh, successful defense, and we actually destroyed the anti-tank and anti-air uh, companies. Wow, look at that. Anti-tank, anti-air down. All they've got is fighters and infantry left. Plenty of infantry. Let's see what they've got remaining. Uh, wow, actually down. Whoa. Wow, they took some significant lo Look at the amount of losses, and Sweden, holy crap, man. Wow. Alright, enemy losses totaled in uh, nearly 3,000 points worth of losses. Versus our uh, about uh, just less than 1,000. 1 to 3 there. Most of our losses being uh, recon based, transport based, uh, or light vehicles. And uh, infantry kicking ass like they're supposed to. Alright everyone, that is it for this battle. We'll be back then for a, another naval battle then it seems. Uh, boy, the excitement. Oh boy, the joy and the rapture. I'm getting bored of those, but we'll mix it up next. I'll see you guys for a continuation. Again, if you want to see more of this, go ahead and hit that like button. And uh, if you're new around here, go ahead and subscribe too. Thank you everyone for all your support, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.